Oh my friends, words cannot even express my excitement for the video I have for you today. I have my first ever Harry Potter themed unboxing video. <laughs> the diva behind Diva and the Divine and your healthy homemaker and today I am sharing with you something that has nothing to do with health habits or homemaking but it is something that just truly and honestly brings me joy which is arguably probably the most important thing right so today I have my very first unboxing of a subscription box called the wizarding crate this is a Harry Potter themed subscription box and when I saw what the theme was, I knew that this was the month that I needed to try it. It is now a bi-monthly subscription, so every other month you get billed. And this is called The Wizarding Trunk. There are a few Harry Potter subscription boxes out there that I know of, to my knowledge. This one is The Wizarding Crate. The Akio box is also one, and Lit Crate actually has its own Harry Potter themed subscription box as well. I went for The Wizarding Crate because of the theme and because they tend to have some really pretty things that tie into this theme specifically. Most of the time I've seen a handful of unboxing videos and I wanted to find some things for my Harry Potter shelving right over here and I figured that this might be a great way to get started. So I'm going to unbox for you live in real time. I mean it's not live for you but it's live for me. I have not even unsealed this box. I'm so excited. Let's dive in. So first of all, I'm used to seeing unboxings with like a plain brown box that just says the Owlry on it. Um, so they have already upped their game in the boxing area. They have the Wizarding Trunk Presents. It looks like it has etched into it up to no good. This looks like a wizard trunk, which I really, um, I, I love it. I love it. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. So here's what you see when you open the box. And what this piece of paper is, is it's a very fine, very authentic, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, authentic looking piece of paper that says the preparation of Gilly Tonic. When, when brewed properly, this tonic will allow you to breathe underwater, although it says breath underwater. And I don't know if that's a typo or is that the way that they say it in England, in, in British areas, because if one of my pet peeves is actually people who mean breathe but say what right breath um so i wonder <laughs> i wonder if it's actually a regional thing um allow you to breathe underwater for a limited amount of time ingredients stones collected from the body of water you intend to swim in two pieces of magical water plant water collected from the body of water you intend to swim in 10 milliliter infusion of wormwood and one gram of silver it's oh my gosh it has instructions and everything for you to create your own Gilly tonic. And then we have the potions class on the back and that's actually the cheat sheet. So I hope you didn't read that while I was holding the paper up because we're not gonna look at that right now. This, so now that we have the paper out of the way, this is what we see. Let's, oh, I don't even know where to start. Let's start with this. This is a little pin and it is the draft of living death. Beautiful. That is, isn't that the potion that the, one of the first things that, Draft of Living Death, isn't that the potion that Slughorn makes them make? By the way, if you haven't figured it out, yes, I got a Harry Potter subscription box because I'm a big, I'm a huge Harry Potter nut. I love Harry Potter. And if you come to like my weekly live streams and things like that, you know that I'm a Harry Potter nut. But if you just kind of have moseyed across my channel for the first time, in which case, Hello, glad you're here. Um, or you just come for specific videos from me. You might not know that about me, but I am a total 100% insane, insane love for Harry Potter nut. I am when I am of the generation that it started coming out when I was in junior high school. Um, so I got the first book when it came out, and I had to subsequently wait for the release date of every new book and every new movie and every time it was a big thing I'd get the book in the day it was released because my parents were wonderful humans and bought them for me and then I would read and read and read and read never in my life have I been excited to read something like I have been excited to read Harry Potter books and it's it 
it, I grew up with it and it is just part of who I am. I love it and I will always love it. I am a Harry Potter adult and I'm not ashamed to say so. So this pin is beautiful. Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it is a stunning pin. I know that uh, pins like this are actually one of the commodities that collectors of stuff actually are collecting. So we'll see. What's this? Oh, we got a key. A key is another one. Another one of the things. So we have PS. PS. I don't, I don't. I, well, I love, I see the cauldron. I see the cauldron. And <laughs> because your girl really loves food. To me, this point here looks like pizza. So I'm not, we'll, we'll look at the, the cheat sheet at the end there. Oh, and we have another, oh, oh, we have another pin. A wi again, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. So this pin is a portrait of none other than our beloved Severus Snape. But of course, it's not taken straight from the movie. It's kind of like a, a merging, I guess, of either both of them or it is someone's interpretation of what Severus would look like. And it happens to look kind of like the person in the movie, but like it's definitely very clearly not an Alan Rickman Sever Severus Snape. That's again, really heavy duty, really high quality. So I know that in each Wizarding Trunk, you get a t-shirt and you do get to specify your size. I picked a medium, didn't I? Yes, I picked a medium. And <laughs> I don't, it might be big, but that's okay. Uh, oh, maybe not. It's got a Potions Club logo on the front. And then on the back, it's got an even bigger Potions Club logo. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that Potions Club logo. I love it. I love it. So now I have a t-shirt. It's actually a really nice quality t-shirt too. It feels really soft and nice. So that'll be, that'll be awesome. That, that'll be a fun t-shirt to knock around in. I'm trying, as I'm trying to like up my style and everything, this is exactly the kind of stuff that I'm trying to stay away from, themed and screen printed things and whatnot. Um, but in actuality, these are really nice for like chore days and cleaning and just errands to Target, in the, you know, in the grocery store. And I can wear my nerdiness on my sleeve, or I guess in this case on my back because of it. And I kind of love it. I kind of love it. I'm not gonna lie. Um, oh, and there's so much more in here. <gasps> look, 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 look. Boxes. Oh my gosh. I don't know where to start. We'll start with this one. Brass scale, Wurricks, Wurricks premium potioner equipment. And it says it's a brass scale. I, fun fact about me, I'm terrible at opening boxes. I always destroy them. And I really don't want to destroy them because they're really pretty boxes. Come on, I, I rip them. I rip them every single time I open them. Here we go, okay. Oh my gosh, are we kidding? Um, <laughs> you guys, it's literally a bunch of pieces and I'm going to have to build a scale. It's gonna be a scale. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we need to get this built. We need to get this built. Oh gosh. You guys, it's literally, it was really easy to put together, by the way, very, very easy, but it's literally a functioning scale for you to make your ingredients on. It comes with these little weights, and then I'm assuming that the, yep, you can store them right in the base of the scale. This is adorable. Like truly, it's only practical if you plan on having a display of um, Harry Potter themed things. But because I do in fact want to grow my collection, this is actually really fun. Next up, Bone Regin Gillipot's Apothecary. Let's see. We have Styrofoam. Oh, Bone Regen. This is supposed to be a little bottle of, um, like, Skelegro. A little potion bottle of bone regenerator. How cute! And it's actually, like, pretty heavy duty and nice. It's obviously not a bottle, it's just a statuary. 
but super cute for a potions shelf. Oh, there's so much, there is so much in here, you guys. There is so much in here. I don't, wow. What is, what is this? Oh, oh my gosh. You guys, I think I know what this is. It's an empty potions bottle, green liquid. And then you got this little sachet that I can't, oh, because it's tied. Pebbles? Pebbles. There's pebbles in here, you guys. And presumably gillyweed. I know what this is. We're making our own gilly tonic. They actually give you the ingredients to make your own gilly tonic. So the stones collected from the body of water you intend to swim in. That's what's in this pouch. Two pieces of magical water plant. It's this. A 10 milliliter infusion of wormwood. I wonder if this is supposed to be the wormwood. And then there's stuff floating at the bottom. I would assume that's supposed to be the silver. Cause it'd be crazy if they just decided to up and give us silver. Okay. Which must be somewhere around here. There's probably a label and we're supposed to, what is this? Calming draft, calming draft. Number two ingredients, sea salt, hibiscus, lavender, Pink Himalayan salt, rose petals, and calendula flowers. Are these bath salts? I'm sorry, I have to start addressing this. Oh, but I don't want I don't want to see all the things. No, no, I won't address it yet. I won't. I'm not addressing it yet. We're just gonna have to open everything and you're gonna have to bear with me and then we will figure out what the heck is going on. We have a tea light candle, authentic black lacewing flies. Um Literally, literally plastic flies. Literally flies. Do they belong in something? I don't think they belong in, no, no, not at all. Oh, oh. What? Armadillo bile, orange blossom, Squeezable wax melt. <gasps> Hold the phone. Hold the phone. It's a little cauldron. It's a wax melt warmer. You put the tea light down here and you put the wax melty stuff in here. And you can you can cauldron, you can you can brew your potion, which is actually just an air freshener. That's adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. We have a piece of parchment. Preparation of the Wolfsbane potion. Well, what potion are we supposed to be making? Wolfsbane or Gillyweed? Oh, and then we have just like a little background looking thing for your potions class. So you can put it on the potions shelf, right? You put it on the shelf and then you put the stuff in front of it. Interesting. Okay. That's everything in the box. So let me go back to our little cheat sheet here, shall we? Number one, the Potions Club t-shirt. Check. Potions Club t-shirt. This super soft shirt is only available to members of the Potion Club designed for us by Wizardry Workshop TWT exclusive. Great. Two, the Cauldron Wax Warmer. Bing. This guy. Designed to make your room smell just like the potion you're brewing. It is also a TWT, the wizarding, tr the wizarding trunk, the wizarding trunk exclusive. Armadillo bio wax melts. A few drops of this squeezable wax melt into your new warmer will fill your room with the amazing scent of armadillo bile or orange blossom created for us by Inflamare Candles. The portrait pin. This portrait hangs in the dungeon and oversees your potions classes. This is also an exclusive. Potions class print. A view from your desk during potions class was created by Queen Mob. Wolfsbane recipe page. 
a page torn right out of Perfect Potions, designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. So here it has a whole, it, it literally looks like you just ripped it out of your textbook, and it has the preparation of the Wolfsbane Potion. The Wolfsbane Potion, if you recall, in Prisoner of Azkaban, is the potion that Snape makes for Lupin to help him stay within his own control when he turns into a werewolf once a month. So that's what the Wolfsbane Potion is. Black Lacewing Flies, a staple for your potions kit or your shelf. The box is designed by Wizardry Workshop and filled by Pure Blood Apothecary. So yes, there are like plastic flies in here, which I'm like, what am I going to do with those? But if you leave them in the box and you just use the box on your shelf, all of a sudden that looks pretty cool, right? Bone Regen Potion. This healing potion mends and strengthens broken bones. It can also regrow vanished bones entirely. Hey, pretty useful, right? Living Death Pin. I dare say one drop would kill us all. The Gilly Tonic Kit. It's time to brew your Gilly Tonic to breathe underwater. We can't wait to see the bottles that you make. Decorate them however you want. Label designed by Wizardry Workshop. This liquid should not be consumed. Okay, so what I don't see though, the part that I'm confused by, is that I don't have a label for my bottle. So here's my bottle, which is great, but where's my label? I think I have a, oh, here it is, here it is. Oh, I found it. Gilly Tonic, there's the label, I found it. So that will go on the bottle once I finish making the potion. And I will make the potion and I'll insert a picture of it here so you can see what the finished product actually looks like. The Vintage Brass Scale. Scale from Warwick's Potion Supplies are necessary when weighing potion ingredients. And then the Calming Bath Potion. This mixture by Alchemy for the Skin contains pink Himalayan salt, hibiscus, lavender, sea salt, rose petals, and calendula flowers. Makes a calming bath and looks great on any potions shelf. Okay, so I was right, this is supposed to be a bath thing, but let's be honest, it just looks so pretty and official that it's just gonna sit on the potions shelf, right? Oh my goodness, okay, so that's everything. <laughs> that's everything in my kit. I'm I'm excited, I think this is fun. I think this is a lot of fun. Um, I will have to show you how I use this to work on my little Harry Potter shelf areas over there. I didn't actually realize that yesterday was the day it was going to renew, so I also accidentally purchased the one for October, which is themed All Hallows Eve, so it should be more spooky Halloween themed Wizarding World stuff, which is really cool. And then I also did buy their exclusive The Potter Collector collaboration Christmas one. So it's about holidays at the school. So I'll be getting a October Halloween themed one and I'll be getting a Christmas themed one, which will be a lot of fun to kind of add a little bit of wizarding magic, so to speak, to my holiday decor as well, which will be a lot of fun. So this was my first wizarding crate box. I know it's completely out of the blue, completely random, but I hope you enjoyed it because I really enjoy I really enjoy Harry Potter themed things. So it'll be really fun to create my little potion and start my little Harry Potter shelf with the stuff from the subscription box. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up as it really does help me out. And if you would like to see more of everything, go ahead and click that little subscribe button. I would love to have you as a part of our community. Thanks for watching my friends. Take care and I'll see you later. Bye.